loop line here and I want to go over the dupe remove add-on so if you don't have it installed go to add-ons and show available add-ons and then simply find the add-on that you want and install it and once that's done go to add-ons and we're going to do the dupe remove add-on what the dupe remove add-on does is it's a mass duplicate remover along with some other tools inside of Scrapebox you'll see that there's only this grid here and this is a Microsoft uh, designed grid that is used and they Microsoft limited it to a maximum of 1,000 lines in that grid or 1 million lines sorry and so you can't use more than a million lines in there so if you're harvesting and you get more than a million lines it breaks it up into 1 million file chunks and puts them into the harvester sessions folder and so say you do a harvest and you get 10 million URLs well then you want to be able to remove duplicates and that sort of thing so that's what the dupe remove add-on does uh, and then it does a few other things I'll show you that aren't necessarily apparent so merging list is pretty basic what you do here is you select a source file and we're just gonna you can just pick some files and uh, then you pick a source to store the file and I'm just going to call all and you hit merge files and it just merges them all together. And so if we go back there, we can see that the all file is there and there was nothing in these files. So it didn't merge anything there. But basically, if you have, say, 10 million URLs, you have to merge them into one file first. Then you load that one file in here and you pick an output as well. And you choose like remove dupe URLs or remove dupe domains, whichever one you want. And then say you still wind up with something like 3 million URLs. Well, you want to be able to load them in here maybe and work with them or load them in down here to comment to them or whatever. And uh, you can't really load in a 3 million URL list. I mean, you can. Uh, and it might work okay. But uh, if you're using a machine that doesn't have you know, quite as much memory or that sort of thing, it could crash from running out of memory. So this is convenient to split it up. And uh, you put in the number of lines you want here, like there's 500,000, for instance. I just select my file, and I hit split file, and I wind up with um, my file split. Now, there's nothing in there, so it didn't split it, but you get the point. It splits it into 500,000 URLs, or 500,000 lines, actually. I can put in 1,000 or 100 or whatever I want. Now, what might not seem as apparent is, um, is that these are argument based line by line not actual URLs tools so like if I want to merge a file here and it has I scrape up uh, some comments for instance and I want to merge two sets of comments files I can do that this isn't just for URLs so if I'm grabbing comments or lists of emails I can merge those together here I can also remove duplicate URLs this is a line by line remover the duplicate URL one so if I have a list of emails I can remove duplicate URLs duplicate emails rather line by line and then I can also remove duplicate comments or duplicate anything so if it's duplicated on the line itself this will work and then the file splitter as well as a line by line splitter so I can split you know lists of emails or lists of comments or anything else that I want to uh, as long as it's you know everything is on its own individual line in a text file then uh, the file splitter will work and so that is how the dupe remove add-on works